At the end of section 2.5, you actually saw the beginnings of what, will, what it will look like to write proofs, which brings us to section 2.6. Proofs, statements about segments and angles. A proof, the formal definition is a logical argument that shows a statement to be true. There are many forms of proof. You can write it in paragraph form, to, as a two-column proof, or just a series of pictures could also constitute a proof if they show without a doubt that the statement is true. The form we're going to be using most often is the two-column proof. And you actually saw this a little bit in the previous videos for sections 2.5. The columns that you end up having are the statements column, where we write our mathematical statements, and the reasons column where we give the reasons or the justifications for each statement. Let's look at another example. In the drawing below, you know that angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. Okay, right away, if it's not marked already, mark those kinds of statements in your picture. So we know angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. We also know that ray AC bisects angle BAD. Okay, I'm going to switch colors here. What that tells us, because AC bisects angle BAD, we know that angle 1 is actually congruent to angle 2. We want to prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. So take some time, first jot down your ideas, and then try to construct a formal proof. When you're ready, restart the video and compare with the solution that you will be shown. All right. So our two column proof, we will have a statement section and a reason section. Let's start with statements. We know that angle two is congruent to angle three. We also know that AC, ray AC, bisects angle BAD. Now, because these are both givens, I'm going to let both of them be statement one. That way, I don't have to write the reason given twice. You are more than welcome to do that. All right, statement two. Since AC bisects angle BAD, this is what let us make those blue arc marks. We know then that angle one is congruent to angle two. And this is by the definition of an angle bisector. Next, we can say that angle one is congruent to angle three. This is either through transitive property or you could also write that this is through substitution. Notice that statement three is the statement we were trying to prove. So we are done. Not too bad. Okay, for your homework. We've already talked a lot about vertical angles. We showed an informal proof in class. I want you now to construct a formal proof that shows vertical angles are congruent. So given the drawing below, you need to prove that angle one is congruent to angle two. You are welcome to add additional angle numbers if you want, such as three and four. If you do so, please make sure that you mark those angle numbers on your drawing. You're free to always number or letter objects. You can't just, the only thing you can't do the drawings is add congruency or those types of things, which we would then need to show why angles or segments are congruent. Naming's fine, congruency is not. Okay, try the proof, bring it to class, and we'll see what you get.